Yo, what's up you guys? So I wanted to dive into this little topic today, which is affirmations. Obviously we talked about affirmations before and they're a huge part of adjusting your mindset, shifting your thoughts, shifting your beliefs. And the specific reason today that I'm bringing them up is because lately, and we all go through this, you get into a state I've gotten into a state, me personally, where I've been allowing the outside circumstances to affect me and therefore govern and have more of an effect than what I would like on my thoughts, on my feelings, on my emotional state of being. See, when we, when we do that, what tends to happen is we're going to start feeling a little bit negative. We're going to start feeling... We have one thing, one thing can happen that's just not optimal. One thing can happen that's a little bit not what we wanted, not what we had planned for. And we can take that thought now and follow that down a path where we are telling ourselves more and more things. And now we're, now we're creating false circumstances, false narratives around something that aren't even true. But we took that one thought, we ran with it, we ran in that direction with it. And so what do we need to do to get back in control of our thought process, of our mind? I've used this analogy before, but I really love it. And it's, I got it from John Kehoe. I'm not going to take the full credit on this, but it is weeding the garden of the mind because your mind is like a garden and you can liken those negative thoughts, those negative picturings, those negative imagine, imaginations, those like visuals that you get of the negative scenario panning out. Those are weeds. Now, I was just got back from Mexico. Uh, we got back a few days ago. But when I was there, see, I had this issue, and I've had this issue for a little bit, where my driver's license expired. So my dad sent me my passport so I could go to Mexico, but I still wanted to have my driver's license. I didn't know if they would have asked for two forms of ID coming back through the border. So I was dwelling on these negative outcomes, imagining in my mind all these negative things happening when I crossed through the border. Fortunately, I swatted those negative thoughts out of my reality and it was actually completely easy coming back through the border. That's just one example of catching yourself, thinking these thoughts. Are you going to let that ruin? And was I going to let, let that ruin the whole vacation? Absolutely not. Was I going to let that take me, take over my emotions, get me into a frazzled state? Of course, it affects you in the moment but then you come back and you're like you know what i have the power over, over how i'm going to think about this i'm going to choose to think these empowering thoughts so i actually wrote so this was actually a little a few days ago once we got back from mexico because i was still feeling a little bit of that and i was feeling a little bit of it today where sometimes you get this feeling of overwhelm especially with me what i want to do right now i have a lot of goals that revolve around my creativity and me being, being able to uh, <clears throat> output a lot of creative work. And so I wrote these as affirmations specifically guided to allow me to feel capable when it comes to this, to feel empowered when it comes to outputting a lot of creativity and a lot of creative work, because we can easily fall into a state where we think it's too much, we feel overwhelmed, we think we start thinking it's too hard. It's so hard. How are we going to do all of this, all these things that we want to do? And then what does that do? That we can, it'll, It can lead to analysis paralysis and we don't end up doing the things that we wanted to do. Now, I was watching a video by Hamza just now and Hamza is another creator here on YouTube. And I like him. I like his energy. He's got a channel called Hamza Unfiltered where he talks to the camera much like I do on my videos that are just super raw, super unfiltered. <laughs> hence the name, and he was discussing how people get caught up with all these, this minutia, and especially when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, he talks about how people will worry about the thumbnail, worry about the banner art, they will obsess over these little things. He's like, on, in all honesty, he has almost, a, he has a, over a million subscribers on his main channel at this point, almost 200K on his second channel, and he said that up until a few months ago, when he was almost at a million subscribers, he didn't even change his YouTube profile logo or profile picture, the, the profile image, the circle image that pops up. He didn't even change it. It was just like a selfie that he took. And he, 
he just drives the point home that what is the what is the main thing, the main task? And it's usually the task that you have a lot of friction with. He says, you need to accomplish this task. And he's gotten this from, there's a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane uh, by MJ DeMarco, where he talks about this. And then you've got Tim Ferriss talking about this in Four Hour Body, I believe, and Four Hour Work Week. But there's another example he gives, which is if you only had two hours to de dedicate towards your work or your craft, let's say it's towards working out, or let's say in this example, it's towards being a YouTuber, creating on YouTube, what are you gonna do? And it seems pretty common sense, right? That the answer would be to record videos. Or in the case of working out, you have your key lifts, your key exercises. You're probably gonna just go till failure on the only, only your top four or five lifts. I don't know how, however many lifts you're able to do in one given session. Say you have, break it up into two separate hours during the week. But you're going to really go hard on those key things that you need to do. In the, in the case of this, recording videos. And what does that do when we, when we think about all these other things, when we start working on all these other things, we spread our attention thin, it wears in our, down our ability to actually do the important thing, the actual thing that's gonna be pushing the needle forward. So I wanted to bring you along to this video. My most important video to date is me doing an affirmation rampage. And I wanted to share these affirmations that I made to support creativity because I think hopefully you guys get something from this. When I read these this morning to myself, I felt so much more better and so much more empowered to be able to do what it is that I want to do. So without further ado, <laughs> here they are. And what I would suggest, I, I have a giant mirror behind me. I'm also looking into this camera as I'm recording these. I've mentioned that before. But when you guys write your affirmations down, you get into a flow state, write down all of the affirmations that you want. All, instill all the thoughts you want to think. Because I know that your, your mind, our minds, our human brains will play out all these negative bullshit ass thoughts that we don't want. We don't want those. So instill all the thoughts you want. I'm going to read you these so you guys have an example of this. And you can take, you can steal these, steal these if you want. <laughs> Use the exact thing, just copy them verbatim if you want. Because what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to get into this empowered state, but I, I want you to do these affirmations in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror, it's so powerful. Um, and do, you know, do whatever you want, but that that is so powerful for me, I wanted to share that. So here it is. It is easy for me to enter into a detached state. Creative ideas come to me easily and effortlessly. I think a lot of the time as creative people, we are so attached to what it is that we're creating that, anyways, I'm not gonna go and interrupt these affirmations, but I just wanted to hit on that point that these are very specific towards being creative. And the, I think a lot of the pitfalls that we get when we're trying to do creative work. So here we go. Creative ideas come to me easily and effortlessly. I never question my ability, the how or when, I trust with full faith and knowing that my manifestations are coming into being. I don't try to make it happen. I don't look for it. I have no notion of lack, problem, or opposition in my awareness. My state of being is stable. I love waking up before 8 a.m. I love eating clean and healthy. I love doing cardio. I love weight training. I love taking care of my body, my mental and emotional state of being. I love shooting content, editing it, and posting it. It is easy for me to pump out quality content on a consistent basis. I feel amazing creating and posting content. It all happens effortlessly. I get the best, most creative, and amazing ideas with effortless ease. I receive new genius ideas for content with more and more clarity each and every day. Everything is working out for me in my favor. My content is, <laughs> is gaining more and more popularity every day as am I. I am everyone's favorite digital creator. People fall in love with me and my content. I'm exceeding anyone's expectations of what anyone thought was possible. My Project 50 video has more than 100,000 views. I have 10,000 plus subscribers on YouTube. I have 10,000 plus subscribers on Instagram. People tell me they love my content. People tell me they are jealous of me. People are loving everything I create. 
I continuously drop awareness of any problems in my reality and I am a master of manifesting. Now, some of those you might say, well, those aren't necessarily uh, exactly creative, like some of the things with eating clean and I love cardio. Well, all of those things are things that I'm working on right now. And I think that all of them feed into the healthy habits that I want to build for myself. I mentioned also something there about a Project 50 video. I'm going to be dropping that because that ha that's a trend going on right now um, on Instagram, on YouTube as well. And it's something that I really vibe with because it incorporates all the things I've been doing already. I've been, been waking up early. I've been waking up before 8 a.m. I've been eating clean. I've been hitting the gym every single day. I've been working on my craft. So these that that falls right in alignment with what I want to do and what I want to create. And this channel is about your mindset. It is about creating the life that you want and how to do that and how we can achieve and become the best version of ourselves possible. So I think that falls completely in line with what I want to do. And I'm going to be posting a video uh, of my day in the life doing that Project 50 trend, which is essentially a day in the life vlog showing you doing all the things that you're doing and, and uh, working on. But anyways, guys, I hope that this was valuable to you guys. I really, for me personally, when I, like I said before, think about creating, <clears throat> creating content or creating anything and using my creative muscles, those seem to, when I read those aloud to myself, especially when I look at myself and tell myself that in the mirror, that this is now what you think. This is what I'm program programming with myself with. This is what, these are the beliefs that I'm instilling and the thought forms I'm instilling into my body, into my mind. It is, it's like a night and day difference. You like wake up, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling reactive to the day, to the different things that pop up. You simply sit you do this, you take that time to yourself and do this. And I promise you will feel better. Again, these are for creativity. I know a lot of you people that watch this channel are probably creative individuals, but I would argue that creativity permeates through business. It permeates through a lot of the work that we find ourselves doing, especially on the journey to creating that version of ourselves like I talked about. So I hope that these helped, like I said, drop me a comment, drop me a like, hit me with that subscribe. We're almost at 700 subscribers. And I will see you guys very, very soon.